Well, over the last three years, just down the hall here at the Crossroads Centre in Studio B, a unique children's series has been in production. It's a result of a partnership between Crossroads and the Salvation Army, and it's called Ready to Serve. Now, that production has just wrapped up, and a couple of very busy people now have time to pop into Studio A over here and tell us more about it. Major, Major Denise Walker is with the Youth Department of the Salvation Army Canada, and the original visionary of the production, and Dennis Curley is one of our longtime staff members here at Crossroads, and he served as the director. Now, Denise and Dennis, with names that close, you are destined to work together, Absolutely. obviously. Exactly. <laughs> now, Denise, uh, you were with us years ago as a staff yes. member here at Crossroads. Uh, you have some memories of that way back? I do, actually. <laughs> I loved working here. Um, I was a production assistant on the Huntley Street program for years. And then my final years uh, at Crossroads, I actually worked with Bruce Stacy on a show called Kingdom Adventure. Right, and, children's uh, production. Yeah, and uh, I mean, both experiences were completely amazing, and it was the most difficult choice I've ever made to leave uh, and to go to the Salvation Army. Mm -hmm. But um, it was an amazing time, and I love the fact that 20 years later, here I am, I'm back, and have spent the last three summers here and among people that I know and love, and it's been a great experience, I tell you. So maybe some, some seeds of a vision were planted back, back then about something you could do with the Salvation Army. So give us kind of the genesis of, uh, of this whole idea for Ready to Serve. Well, as I said, it was really a tough decision to leave Crossroads because I loved working in television. I loved the whole process of bringing something together. But I, I just, I, I felt called to be an officer in the Salvation Army. And so out of obedience, I went. And um, for, I'd say for, for 15, 20 years, I struggled with how do I, who I am and, and the gifts that I have, how do I fit into the Salvation Army? And it, so I came up with this idea for a kid show. And I remember coming out and having lunch with Bruce Stacy. And I said, here's my idea, like, just tell me if, if this is normal, if this is a good idea, if, if, or am I just out to lunch now? Because it's been so long. And he said, Denise, it's a great idea, but you have to have a purpose for what you do. You can't just, you can't just do, do a TV show. You have to have a reason for it. So I got in the car and I was driving back to Toronto and I got stuck in a, in a, a traffic jam that lasted three hours and I'm crying and going, God, I don't have a purpose. And uh, in that time, uh, it was as if God was speaking and said, well, what about our, our young people? What about the children? We'd been talking about what do we do with them? Uh, everyone had been crying out, we need to have something that we can disciple them. We want them to know how to live out their faith in the Salvation Army. We want them to know uh, how to live a, a life of holiness. We believe they can be saved and, and they can live a life of holiness. So we need something. And so in the car on the way back came the initial idea of how to do a, a program for them that included a website where they could go to the website and in-class teaching uh, and just like the whole thing just kind of came together. I ran to my, my boss's office and said, here's what we've got to do. And uh, within a minute they said, okay, let's start the process. And I came back to Bruce and said, help me put this together. And that's where it started. Wow, kind of an interactive media curriculum for, for yeah. young people. And, and, and then Dennis Curley mm -hmm. uh, came along to help give legs mm -hmm. to it. Yeah. And uh, Dennis, you were the director of the, the production. Uh, tell us what it was like working with the young people. Well, it was absolutely fantastic. My job was to take the written story and to create a visual story out of it. Mm -hmm. And it was a compilation of many things, but the big thing for me every day was not just to go through the script over and over again, but it was the work with the actors. How do they pull that out of the character? How do I get the emotion I need from that person? The then it's to work the with the operators, whether it be at, uh, our camera operators and editors. But you know the real key was? This is a real tribute to our staff here. The key was allowing artists to be artists. Mm -hmm. I felt I wanted to work with not just professionals that we have here, but I wanted to work with the artistic ability that was within them and laying dormant. And you know what, Ron? Denise and I got more than we bargained for mm -hmm. to the point that it was even better than what we envisioned and dreamed. Yeah. To, to see what these guys could pull off when you allow them to be artists with a camera or with an editor was mind-boggling. Like, there was many occasions where I'd be on a shoot and I, I, I already planned how I want to do this, and all of a sudden I got this better idea. I'd go, Jeff, Jeff! Can we pull this off? If I do this, can we? Can you fix that in editing? He goes, oh yeah, dude, we can do that. So <laughs> bang, we change the image as we go. Like putting Whatever. a force field in, in the control room of, exactly. the, of the thing. In fact, exactly. that's one of the clips, I think, in this little compilation of highlights yeah. that we're going to have a look at. Take a look.
in Control Central. No more intruders in Control Central. Uh, ow! All right, that looks like a lot of fun. And I know the kids are already enjoying uh, the kind of the first series season of this. Yeah. Uh, what, a, what a great thing. Can I tell one story? Um, God has been uh, such a provider for this in, in more ways than we can. And even down to the tiniest of details, we wanted to have uh, a bass drum to make a coffee table on the set. And uh, I send out a notice to all of the, the core in, in Ontario and go, look, do you have a drum that we could borrow? And I wasn't hearing from anyone. And there was this lady who was in Hamilton who her and her husband had been in an antique store two weeks earlier. And they had seen this drum from the Niagara Falls core. It had closed down and there it was. And they were like, oh, we have to buy this drum. So they bought the drum. And when she saw my email, she said that drum was meant for them. And she gave us the drum. And so even that littlest detail right. of being able to have something provided for us. Yeah. Denise and Dennis, thank you for such thank a great welcome. production. I know it's going to bless a lot yeah. of uh, young we people. We thank you guys, Ron. We it do. Was from the bottom of my heart, it was yeah. the greatest thing I've done here. Yeah. And, and God it's bless been a great you. partnership. Thank you. Ready to serve. TV.com, I think, is the, is the website you want to find out more about it. God bless you. Thanks for joining us on 100 Huntley Street. Bye-bye.